series. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I help you? <laughs> yes, you can help us, lady. I want a sibling. <laughs> um, we're looking into adopting a child. Um, r r right away. Would you like to see all of them? Yes, and then I can pick the one. Yeah, keep the knife away from me. Kid, can everyone come here? Can everyone come out to the lobby? <sighs> Why? Because someone's looking into adopting someone. <gasps> come on, let's go. <gasps> Yay! Well, I'm waiting. Someone say something. Um, um, my name is Brinley. My favorite color. Boring. Next. Uh, I'm Devin. I had a twin brother. Where is he? Oh, um, he got adopted. Eh, sad story, whatever. Next. I'm Daisy. And you clearly like having them on your head. Next. I'm Tanner. My favorite game is Crystal Mania. Ew! That game is for young children. Actually, most people who play it are teenagers and adults. For children! Next. I'm not even sure I want to be adopted anymore. Yeah, same. Uh, I'm Henry. And I like- No! Last person. <laughs> Um, I'm Briella. Hmm, go on then. I normally like having my hair up like this. Me too, and we both got the same hair ties. Uh, do you like my outfit? <laughs> I guess. Thank you, I'm flattered. Are you weird? I mean, everyone here says I am. So She's the one! <sighs> All of you disperse. Go! She's so weird, what the heck? You ready to be adopted by us? Uh... Okay, lady, let's get the papers signed or whatever. Okay. I have to sign all of that. Um, yeah. Ugh. Watch you pick me out of all people. Okay, okay. Signs. Thank you. So should I go pack up? No, let's go. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Isn't it just lovely? Uh, yeah. Now oh, go on, Paul. Open the door for us. Sorry. Come on in, Paul. Yeah, I don't know his real name, but we just call him Paul. Let's go. Why did they have to pick me? I'm back! Oh, that's amazing, darling. That's who you picked? Really? Yeah, well, she had the same hair ties as us. And people also called her weird, so she fits in perfectly. Ugh, yeah, whatever. Paul! It's dinner time! Uh, I'm so sorry, you guys continue talking. So, um, where do I sleep? Oh, well, the adults sleep upstairs in the attic. Sophia sleeps in the bedroom upstairs. The good one. And we sleep in the bedroom with two beds. <laughs> um, who's Sophia? Ugh, Dad, Boo Boo's not rolling over. I've trained him a thousand times, and he just won't... Oh. Hi, whoever you are. Briella. That's what I said. Is Paul making dinner? I'm hungry. He's working on it. Whatever. Bradley, how about I give you a tour of the house after dinner? Briella. <laughs> Whatever, same thing. Okay. Dinner is served. Mmm. Um. Is there worms in that? Uh. <laughs> You didn't eat your food! What? You don't like your food? Oh, uh, no, it looks great. Then what's the matter? It's, uh, just a little different than a normal food. That is normal. What's not normal is the things that normal people have. Chicken and rice and spaghetti and mac and cheese. Ugh. That's what I normally ate. Oh, come on, just eat it. You'll like it. Ugh. <coughs> well, do you like it? Might take a while for me to get used to. Oh, that's what all newcomers say. Paul! Yes? The dishes need doing? Of course. Now for the tour of the house. All of you! Come. Step for you, father. Of course, Sophia. I won't come. Okay. Briella, you two, come. Okay. You get to explain some things too, Sophia. You don't get the spotlight. Ugh, I know. This is our elevator. Sometimes it's so shaky it feels like you're gonna fall straight down the shaft. But it's fine. It's safe. It was only built in 1913. And this right here is our bookshelf. We have element cards. Our grandma Harriet gave them to us so we can cast spells, along with these spell books that we've never used. Some candy, an empty box, and Jeffrey the statue. That's our grandfather. That's the sacred box that father will not let us touch for whatever reason. Um, nice. This is the bathroom. Don't drink these, they're poison. There's not much else to say here. Oh, and that's blood, but yeah. Uh, and this is your bedroom. Wow, it's a... Great. Ugh, please, we all know it's ugly. You can just say that. Uh, oh. This is where I sleep. And this is where I sleep. So where do we exactly do I go? Right here. You, move your stupid frog. 
She has to put her stuff somewhere. Do not say that about M&M's. But I guess he can go up here. Now for the tour of the upstairs. And put the knife away. Fine. Going up. Ugh, the elevator's stuck again. Someone let us out. Ugh, finally. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Uh. <laughs> this is where the adults sleep. I know. They get so much furniture, it's not fair. A lamp and everything? Ugh. Okay, we're here. My room. She has the best room, but it's fine. This is Boo Boo's bed. And up there is just Boo. Boo Boo and Boo. Boo sleeps here. I sleep up here. I always have my nice lights, and it's amazing. Beautiful diamond jet. It's just amazing. Now, look at that. It's nighttime. Lights out. Good night. See you all tomorrow. Um, why is it so dark? I can't see. This happens every night. You gotta make your way through the darkness. I don't know. To our room. To our room. Uh, going down. Strange Adoption Part 3, I think. We're here. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. It's so dark in here. Ow. Ugh, finally. Oh, goody for me. I get to sleep on this bed. Oh, this bed is so uncomfortable. Whatever, I'll try to get some sleep in this place. In the morning. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Sorry. I say so asleep. I don't know, but I read somewhere that normal people get up at like 9 a.m., not 5. Oh. Well, not in this house. Uh, what? <laughs> it's breakfast time. Uh, right. How exciting. I know. And then, Paul is going to take us shopping for new outfits, because these ones are simply not enough. And you only have one. You need more than that. <laughs> um, where's Paul? Paul! Coming! <laughs> yes, what is it? I'll get in the car. You're taking us to the star. Because she needs more than one outfit. <laughs> uh, right, of course. Well, come on! Yes, sir. <laughs> Huh? Excuse me, FBI lady. We want your car. Uh, I'm afraid I can't give it to you. Give us your car, Susan! <sighs> Fine. But if only you can tell me this case about the statue. It's extremely rare. It's worth millions. Yeah, whatever. In the car. Yep. <sighs> Wait a sec. Give me that. Hey! This is the exact one inside of our house. That house? Yes. Um, I... I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll never disturb you again. P please don't hurt me. I'll never come to your house again. Tell them that. Tell them that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll never bother you guys anymore. Also, you can keep the car. What the? What do they do to that girl? Okay, at least this place seems normal. To the clothing store. Um, that one? Oh, what other one would we go to? Yeah. Uh, 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 um, uh, I, I don't know. Well, come on then. <laughs> Welcome to Batty Emo Clothes. What can I get for you? She doesn't have enough spooky clothes for our house vibe. Uh, yeah, what they said. I see. Come over here, girl. Okay. Let me just do some quick measurements. Five minutes later. Here's all the clothes that match your measurements. Goody. And there's also hats and accessories to top the outfit off. I don't know. Come on, try them. We don't have all day. Okay, okay. Um, no. Um, no. This actually looks like something a normal person would wear. Probably not the glasses, but the outfit, it's good. Huh? She's, She's not, not normal, normal anymore. All oh, her normal, normal went, went out, out the door. door. Oh, shoot. I can't let them know that it's normal. <clears throat> oh, you found that one. Yeah, this outfit's so not normal, it makes me feel like I fit in. That's the one, then. Strange Adoption Part 4. By the way, her old outfit just deleted out of nowhere, so she's wearing that now. Yeah, hear that? She's becoming one of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Help me now. Uh, hello? Yep, for sure. What? Anytime, man. I'd like to pay. No, oh, no, that's all right. Wait, really? Yeah, sure, man. I mean, don't worry about it. I mean, it is Tuesday after all. What? Okay, guys, well, we're getting that for free because he just told me because it's Tuesday, it's free. Yeah! Right. Time to go. Okay, bye. Talk to you later, Gerald. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was just on a call, but we do take cash if you can't do credit. Guys? Guys? I want to break my iPad. Her outfit deleted again. Okay, well, I guess she's not wearing anything, then. She's just gonna wear that. And if resets, I'm not fixing it again. The sun goes down. I cannot see anything! Whatever, it's time for bed anyways. Night, or whatever. <laughs> Night. Um, 
Hope you're prepared for tomorrow, Briella. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Where did those curtains come from? This place is so weird. Off to bed. That night. <sighs> that was a weird dream. Oh, I'm still in this place. <sighs> Ow! Ooh, ah! I can't see anything in the dark. I'm tripping over everything. What's in here? A lantern. Now I can see things a little better. I'm just gonna walk around the house, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, this place is so creepy. Oh, uh... <laughs> I should probably get out. This is their room. Well, the attic after all. Oh, wait. One of their paintings fell down. I'll just put it back up for them. Wait, what? Um, what does this do? Ugh. Whoa. Okay, no one's looking. Whoa. What is this place? Whoa, this is cool. Hey, what do these little switches do? Fun. Let's try this side. Does this one move? <gasps> huh? Should I press it? I don't know. I mean, it's a red button. Who doesn't press a random red button? But again. No, you only live once. Uh-oh. Uh, what's happening? Ah, it's an earthquake! No, shush! You're gonna wake everyone in the house up. Whoa. I'm just gonna quickly make sure no one woke up. Okay, Paul didn't. Did someone say my name? Uh, no. No one said your name. Go back to bed. Okay. You're fine. And she's asleep. Wow. Uh, okay, anyway, what is that? Hmm. Okay, close this. I don't want them to know that I'm snooping around in there. Ah, he's looking up. Ah. Mm. Ah. Go, go, go. And quickly put this lantern away. Ah. To bed, to bed, to bed. The next day. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get breakfast. I'm here. Where's Paul? Sorry, I'm here. Range adoption part five. <laughs> What happened to Paul? Let's find out. <gasps> Paul, what happened to you? You look like a green slime monster. I mean, I kind of like that about him, but what happened? Paul, why do you have five eyes sticking out of your head? Paul, why are you green? Paul, what did I do? I mean, uh... Paul, is that you? Guys, it's me. What are you talking about? Paul, go look in the mirror. Hmm, okay. <laughs> why am I green? I don't know, Paul. Just how about we forget about this and have some breakfast? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. And me. Okay, so what do we all want? We can have eggs. Ah! Paul, you turned the egg into slime! I didn't mean to. Okay, maybe you should stop touching things. Ugh. And maybe I should throw this out. Paul, we're taking you to the doctors right now! Yes, right now. Indeed. Except I don't think they can fix it. Yeah! I want to know what's wrong with Paul. Because if Paul dies, who's going to feed Boo while I'm at the mall? That's the least of our problems right now. <sighs> I know, but still. I'll call the ambulance. Beep, beep, beep. 911, what's your emergency? We need an ambulance here, right now. The address is 31 Haunted Street. Okay, miss, calm down. What seems to be the problem? Okay, so our butler, Paul, he was fine last night. But then this morning we woke up and he was a green slime monster. And everything he touches turns to green slime. Honey, I think you just had a bad dream. It's not a real thing, is it? Uh, I'm not lying. Dad. Yes? They don't believe that it's real. They're refusing this in an ambulance. Hi, operator. It is real. I'm not lying. I can get the whole family in here. What? Uh, okay, I'll send a paramedic over. Oh, thank gosh. Paul. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. This is actually kind of cool. Paul, it is not cool. You're green. And slime, you're a frog. Frogs are cool, though. No, they're not cool. Okay, I think this is the place. Now I want emergency paramedic coming through. Out of the way, everybody. Paramedic coming in. Hello? Oh, thank gosh. Hi, lady. We need you inside right now. Okay, hold your horses. I'm coming in. This way. These kids and their prank calls these days. Even getting their parents to help along. Kids, you don't even... Um, you weren't lying. Of course I wasn't lying. Why would I lie about Paul being sick? Or, I don't know if he's sick, but what is that? I don't know, but we should probably get you to the hospital for some tests. Please come this way. Oh, please, can we come? Uh, sure. Okay. Eventually. Okay, guys, let's go to emergency. Okay. I wonder what they're gonna diagnose him with. Because, like, I don't even know what I did. I opened up some weird door, saw some weird green thing. I don't know how it got on him. I'm not- Briella, come on! Sorry. We need to get this man into testing immediately. Why is he green? That's what we're gonna find out! Okay, chill, sorry. Oh, <gasps> nice outfit. Oh, thanks. We can be best friends. Guys, sorry. Let's go. Part 
six. What happened to Paul? Okay, Lee, you need to test this man. He's green and a slimy. He's a monster. Um, oh my. Okay, put him on the chair. I can do it myself, lady. Whatever, bye, y'all. Um, so, when did this start? I don't know, this morning. Okay, well, this won't hurt at all. Ah! Jeez, boy. I'm running this to the lab. BRB. Okay, now that this is being tested. Okay, open wide, say ah. Aw. Oh. I cannot see anything. Heartbeat sounds normal. I'm shining these in, um, all your eyes. <clears throat> well, so f everything seems normal. Except for, like, the face, obviously. Here, have some water. No, no, wait, stop, no, wait, stop, no, 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 wait, no. Why, what's wrong with, um, mind if I have that back? We'll use this as a test. What is happening? <laughs> do do do. Come here, sir. Put that on. Oh. <gasps> Even this skin is green? Oh dear, I thought it was just your face. Okay, get in the machine. Ah, <laughs> I see. Hmm. MRI scan. Hmm. The test should take two hours. Sit in the lobby while we do them. Okay. One hour later. Would you rather be a cat or be a dog? Mm, dog. Dog. Uh, a cat, duh. That's my spirit animal. Cats are fast and furious and brave. Shut up. Stop ringing. So, um, we have the results back. <gasps> That's amazing. Well, the results... Socks at Walmart are 99% off now? Oh, oh, the lady's here. Anyway, um, apparently according to all the tests, nothing came out. What? Something has to come out. Except a spell. Apparently it's a curse or a spell or whatever is on him. What? What? Yeah, so basically we were testing and we go on the computer after the MRI scan. What? So I, I, I can't believe it. I cursed him? I'm not a witch. I didn't even mean to. I was just like walking around like... So you'll have to go to that address to get the curse fixed. Um, okay. Um, she just fainted. Wait, what? Ah, oh, great. Now two people are dead. No one's dead. Oh, he's cursed. He's cursed. Ah! How do you get cursed? How do you get cursed? What? <sighs> um, maybe we should get this girl some water. I don't think it will turn into green slime for her, too. No. Ah, uh, he's cursed. Maybe you should go to the address now. Don't worry, we're gonna fix the curse. Uh, let's just go. I hate my job. Ew, she lives in this dusty old place? Shush, she'll hear you. Whatever. Knock, knock, knock. Dash of this? <laughs> Ow, someone's at the door. What do you want? Our butler's cursed. Can you help us? What's the curse? Uh, ah, gosh! Guess I can fix it. Get in here! Just making this so it can cure your little friend. Pour some in this cup, or all of it, that works too. Drink, my good sir. Wait, you can't touch it. Ugh. I'm so sorry, I had my musical, then I had a party, and then I had to get home and wash my hair. Ugh. Well, go on, drink. Wait. Okay. Right there will be perfect. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, shush, just drink it. <gasps> I'm fixed. Thank you so much, lady. Whatever, now get out. Oh, and before you leave, there may be some side effects. Okay, goodbye. Uh, side effects? Why would there be side effects? I don't know, she may be joking. Come on. I wonder what side effects. Yeah, same. Hope it doesn't affect him too much. Earlier that day, she was making a different potion. Some of this. Some of this. <laughs> Ugh, I'm getting a call. Wait, what? They want me to fix their curse? Ugh, I better start making it. Some of this. But she had forgot what she'd been making before. Glad I'm not green anymore. Okay, everyone off to bed. You three to your room and us upstairs. Yes, Paul. Going up. Can't see. You should have gotten used to it by now. I mean, I am. Off to bed we go, then. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Off to bed. That night. What was that? Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Can someone turn on a light? Okay. Okay, let's go see what that was. Yeah, okay. Guys, oh my gosh. Did you hear what happened? No. I mean, we heard, but we didn't, like, we didn't see. We heard a scream. Come look at Paul. What happened to Paul? <sighs> what happened to Paul? I don't know. I think it's one of the side effects or something. Ah! I look like Scar from The Lion King. Uh, at least Scar is uh, not ugly. Oh, just shut up. Don't worry, we're gonna think of something. Uh, I think it's one of the side effects that lady said. Yeah. I mean, I can grab my scissors. I was looking for a new hair client to practice on anyway. <sighs> okay. Maybe we can find a cure in here. And I can show them no secret. 
<clears throat> Guys, what's happening to the floor? <gasps> Why is there a lever here? I never knew that, and I lived here my whole life. What is this? Uh, uh, uh I have no idea. Let's pull it. Wait, no. Whoa. Let's go, guys. What's in there? I want to see. Wait, no, guys, please. Ah, oh, my secret lab. They found it. What is this? Is this a lab, father? Uh, Jonathan. No hiding your secrets now. What is this? I, uh... Wait, look up there. This weird thing. <gasps> it was the thing on his face. Look, and you can just take it off. You made it. You put it on his face. And you could have just taken it off this whole time. Daddy, what have you done to Paul? That wasn't his fault. That was mine. But he, I mean, he did make it. And he's been hiding this lab forever. <laughs> Get out. Wait, guys, no, I can explain. Please. Get out. Look what you've done to Paul. And you hid this from us? Uh, yeah. Jonathan, get out now. Don't live here anymore. Ugh! I'm sorry, I was busy being Cruella. They will pay for this. Ugh. <sighs> Just got back from my shopping spree. Ugh. Shopping spree, you say? Uh, lady. Yes, darling? Can I just see what's in that cart, you know? If you steal it, I'm calling the police on you. Cost me $20 from Walmart. Whatever. How much for this? You seem to really like ugly clothes. You sure you want that? Also, I got rid of the cart because it was being too annoying. I do not. Uh, I mean, whatever. How much? Hmm. I don't really take cash, but I can take an item. Ugh, one sec. Found this in Sophia's room, whatever it is. Here you go, a diamond ring. <gasps> Thank you, dear. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a clown? I'm coming back from a nine-year-old's birthday party. Whatever, can I have your suit? Why? Uh, reasons. Give it now. The towel is the only outfit I could find. What's in this for me? Ugh, one sec. They're gonna catch me if I keep breaking back into the house. Um, will a painting of grandma do? No, no one wants to look at her. Ah, Sophia's perfume. Perfect. Coming! <laughs> this perfume is called Just Rosie. It's very nice. <coughs> Actually, it is nice. Give it here. Bye. <laughs> If the suit and tie doesn't work, then the clown will definitely work. I have to get back in their house before they find out the secret that I hid. Because I know for a fact that they are going to try and look in the forbidden box. Because when I was around, that was not happening. But then they kicked me out! Whoa. Um, did you hear that? Um, of course I did. He said he's going to go in disguise so we can get in here and take his mystery box back. Before we find out his secret. Don't let him in. We're going to find out what's in that. Yeah. Also, I gotta get this mane off me. I know just the thing. Come. Grab some of this. Some of that. <laughs> How'd you do that? This shampoo makes your hair fall out. Into an amazing style. Except if you're a boy, then it just falls out. But for girls, it makes it your dream hair. Nice try. I'm not using that now. Oh, whatever. He's at the front door. Let's go. Coming. Wait, actually, I want to mess with him. All of you, disperse. Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> <coughs> me, 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 me. No. Yes. No. No. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> can you just open the... I mean, can you just open the door, please? Um, hi, sir. How can I help you? I, uh, need to do an investigation. I'm the exterminator. We didn't hire an exterminator. I'm doing it for free. I just need to inspect the house, make sure there's no... Bye. That was lame. I call doing the next one. Will there even be a... Let me in! Yes. Yes. I am... <clears throat> I am the killer clown. I am your worst nightmare. And if you do not let me inside your house right now, I will, uh, uh, this grave will be yours. You can't even fit an acorn into that grave. Uh, I'll make you into a fruit smoothie, then put you in. No, oh, fat. Ugh. I'll come back tomorrow. Don't open the box. Don't open the box. Let's open the box. I'm so sorry. Let's open the box. Yeah, good idea. I want to see what he's hiding there. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Uh, what? I call doing it. No, I want her. Guys, I need adopted child. I'm special. I get to. Or adopted. I get to. Nah, not fair. I'm the oldest. Yeah, well, I'm the youngest, so hot. Huh? Actually, I'm the youngest because... I don't know. Well, I have the best laugh. <laughs> no, I... Ugh, rude. Whatever. Do rock, paper, scissors to see who opens the box. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ugh, this game is messed up. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, uh, winner to winner. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <gasps> Yay, I want to get to open the box, haha. <laughs> Ugh, whatever, just open it. I'm going. Oh no. Just hurry up and do it or I'll do it. Okay, okay. <gasps> is that what I think it is? The stolen trophy? 
that's been missing for two years. And if you turn it into the police, then you get millions. Why does he have this? I don't know, but look. There's a whole news article about it. Turn it in to the police station to get millions. What are we waiting for? Let's go right now. Okay, everyone in the car. Okay. Meanwhile. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Joel. I'm a caroler. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Open the door. Wait a sec. Is everyone in the car? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, let's go. <gasps> they left. Wow. <laughs> now I can get my box back. Without anybody noticing. Only be gone for a few... Why are the books moving around like that? Eh, whatever. Probably nothing. Maybe someone decided to read for once in their life. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get this box. Uh, oh, no. It's gone. They must be taking it to the police station. I gotta beat them there. If I tell the police that they stole, then they'll believe me because they'll show up late with the trophy. Ha 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 Wait, I gotta go. Police! Police, we found- Police! They stole the trophy. <sighs> I was gonna tell you. And, and then they just ran here with- and they're trying to blame it on me. What? All right, sir. Thank you for telling us. What? No, we didn't. Hand the trophy over. But we didn't. Shh. I don't want to hear it. You are in massive trouble. All of you. Jail time. What? No, you can't do that. We didn't do anything. She's telling the truth. We can do anything to prove it. Anything you want. It was him. He hid it in a box and then he wanted to steal it when we were not looking. But we got to it before he stole it. And it was there. And he never let us look at it before. They are lying. I was- Okay, okay, all of you shush. We're gonna run some tests to see who truly did it. But until we know, all of you in jail. Until we find out. Part 10. All right, now we're gonna call you one at a time for tests. Once we find out who stole it, they are going to jail. You understand? Yes. <laughs> John. John. John, come to the front now. Now. Well, I'm sorry. What's wrong? The missing trophy was found. <gasps> Finally, after two years. Wait. There are two groups. One is a whole family accusing a man. And one is a man accusing a family. So we gotta run tests to find out who's lying, whatever. Oh, uh, right. Should we just start with the classic fingerprint test? You know it. Lonely man in the cell, come here. What? Uh, I mean, of course, ma'am. It wasn't me, but... Shush! Anyways, please put all your fingerprints on this paper. Uh, what? Because we're gonna see which ones match up with the ones on the trophy. Uh... You scared? No, because it wasn't me. Then do it. Okay... Done. Now go back in your cell. Right away. Hey. Briella Larkins, please come to the front. I'm here. Also, this is gonna be a name reveal for two of the characters. Paul Anderson. Can I have Paul Anderson? Yes. Sophia Dirksen. I'm here. Bailey Dirksen. <laughs> um. Last but not least, can I have Libby Dirksen? Uh. Um, please put your fingerprints on the paper, sweetheart. Okay. Now I'll be back to yourself. Okay, now that I have all the samples, I'm taking this to the office to do the matchings. While you do the questioning. Even though we're going to find out from this, it'll still be fun to do questioning. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay. Lonely old man. I have a name. Did I ask you that? Ah, where'd these lights come from? Enough questions. I'm asking them here. Uh, hey, these aren't even prescription. Why are you wearing them? Because I just wanted to look stylish. Mm-hmm. Lying to me can get you in jail. Fine, I was a, a, a uh, for a uh, reading club. Yeah. Hmm. Get out. Paul Anderson! Paul! Hi. Why are you wearing that monocle? Ow. I've been wearing it for, like, five months. That's true. Even I can admit that. Okay, get out. You're useless. Okay. Sophia Dirksen! Hi. Do you have any pets? I have a cat named Boo-Boo and a cat named Boo. Ew. Get away from me. What? Briella Larkins! Hi. Can you put this wig on for me? Um, take those glasses off. Why? <laughs> you look so bad. What? Okay, it wasn't you. Get out. What? Bailey Dirksen! <laughs> um, what? Anyways, what's- Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <sighs> Libby Dirksen. What? Where's- No! Okay. Back in yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here, quick. Yeah. So I have the results. 
<gasps> it is party 11. It was. <laughs> I knew it. All of you are going to jail. <clears throat> oh, um, sorry, ma'am. As I was saying, it was you. We knew it. Ugh. But we're not done yet. We're taking all of you to court for questioning. We're turning this in. Then you are going to jail. Okay? So all of you to court now. Herb, you gotta follow them. I should probably tell someone about the secret. Um, hey, Sophia. Yeah? Uh, can I tell you something? It's a secret. Yeah, sure, what's up? So, uh, you know that science lab that was in our house? Yeah? Well, basically, a few nights ago, I was exploring because I didn't really know the house that well. And I saw one of the paintings fell off the wall. So I put it back up. I was like, oh, I'll be helpful. And it opened up a lever, and I was curious, so I pulled it. And it opened me up to the science room, but I didn't say anything because I was so confused. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm not mad or anything, but you should have said. Because then we could have figured it out faster. Yeah, but... But what? The green thing in there? I didn't make it, but it was my fault that it got on Paul. What do you mean? Well, like, I saw the green thing, so I held it in my hand. I was like, what is that? But I heard Paul waking up, so I ran, and it flew out of my hand, and it must have fallen on his face because we woke up. But I didn't mean to. Oh, that's okay. It was not your fault at all. But you should probably say it. So then they stopped blaming him, even though that he should be blamed, but still. Yeah, okay, I'll tell them today. Okay, but let's go. Yeah. At the courthouse. Ugh. I swear this trophy case is unsolvable, but I may be getting somewhere. Aha! I have no idea. This suspect has these two dots and this. And yesterday, I saw Maria, and she has that. <laughs> Wait, but she wasn't from here. She's only been here this year, and that was two years ago. Ugh! We found it! We have found it! Finally! After two years, we found the missing trophy! <gasps> really? Oh, thank gosh. Do you know the story behind it? Because I've been trying to figure it out all these years. Well, we know who did it. It was him over there, because his fingerprints matched perfectly. But that's why we're bringing him in for questions, to figure out the story behind it. Good idea. I'm going to call the guy he stole it from and turn it in. He's going to be so happy. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, are you the one who lost a trophy two years ago? Happened. No one's ever found it. Lucky for you, someone just turned it in. Wait, really? Yeah, you can come pick it up now. Oh, thank gosh. I won that on a cooking show in 1981. It's worth millions. Thank you so much. No problem. Hi, is this where the trophy is? Yep, are you Amanda Roberts? You know it. Here you go. Thank you so much, dear. Whoever found it. The whole family over there. Thanks so much, you guys. See you later. Bye. All right, y'all. It's time for questioning. Get in the courthouse. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay so the trophy was found. It's the talk of the town. It wasn't me. Okay, we all know it was, but we need to find out why. So everyone's going to share their side of the story. You're going to be the first member of the family. Okay. All right, sir, you go first. You know it. Well, go on. Okay, so me and the children just found out that he had a science lab. And one of the things in his science lab cursed me. We were not happy with this, so we kicked him out, obviously. But then we heard him outside the window. We saw him putting on disguises, and he was saying that he was going to try and break into our house to steal a box. Wait, you saw me changing? Uh, I mean, I never did that. What are you talking about? Uh... And then, after a failed attempt of him coming inside, he left. Sophia suggested we open the box. We all agreed, so we opened it. And there the trophy was. That whole time, he never let us open the box. Whenever we would go near it, he would say, Don't touch the box, or else. He never let us see what was inside, because the trophy was in there. Uh-huh. Okay, you may switch seats with someone else. Who wants to go next? <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, what do you have to say to that? It wasn't me. I never put it in that box. I, uh actually found the trophy on the side of the road and so i took it in i just found it yesterday i was gonna turn it into the police in the morning but uh i got kicked out i wanted that trophy back so i could turn it in and get the millions all to myself so i didn't want to touch the box because i wanted to turn in the million but the reason my fingerprints are on is because i picked it up because i found it on the road so yeah that's my thing that is a dumb excuse okay lady what's your story he said that he found it on the side of the road yesterday, but he wouldn't let us open that box for two years. Whenever we tried to go near it, now the only people he let near it were Bill and Adam. They were always laughing when they were around it, and they said something about splitting millions. Hold up, what? There's more people to a part of this? Yes, all three of them would be there, talking about splitting some kind of money. But we know for a fact he was the one who grabbed it. Because there were only one kind of fingerprint on the box. 
Um, okay, you can switch seat with someone. Who wants to go next? <laughs> okay. And what do you have to say to that, mister? Um, well, two years ago, there was something else in that box, which I didn't want them to see, but I just found the trophy now. I took that out of the box years ago. And what was it in the box? Uh, I, uh, a birthday present for Sophia. I was saving it for her 13th birthday. It was a beautiful ring, but I was saving it until she was 13. Hmm. Okay, your story? Um, then how come on Sophia's 13th birthday, you gave her a Barbie make-it-yourself charm bracelet cake? That's true. That's true, I was at the party. Yep, so I'm here, I ate all the cake. I wasn't even adopted yet, but I believe that. Hmm, sir, stop trying to lie. We all know your fingerprints are on, and we want to know. Why did you steal it? The true story, if you please. Ugh, fine. Two years ago, I was walking in the mall when I saw the trophy on display in the cooking shop. It was really nice and pretty, and I found it was worth millions. So you know me, I just grabbed it and ran. Happy. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Happy now. Um, so the judge's outfit deleted, so that's what she's wearing now, by the way. No, I am not happy because your guilty self decided to steal that trophy. <sighs> um, can I just say something? Of course, little girl. Uh, I'll help you explain, come on. Okay, I'll take part of the blame for you. Wait, really? Yeah, of course. So, um, you know the science lab that we said we found? Mm-hmm. And you know the curse that was put on Paul? Yes, I remember that. Well, basically. After explaining. So you see, it was kind of us. But it was an accident. We didn't create the thing. We didn't know what it was. We didn't mean for it to get on Paul. We, we're sorry. Oh, that's fine. I completely forgive you. Yeah, I don't care. He was the one who made it anyway. Yeah, he's the guilty one. He's the one who made it. It's the one that cursed it. You just accidentally got on him. Yes, that is fair. It was a complete mistake. But I guess that counts as another crime for you. What? Creating something that could curse someone? And you knew it could happen? Why would you do that? I don't know. So I'm officially deciding. He goes to jail. Yay! 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 What? You cannot do that? That's not fair. Oh, but I can, sir. You're guilty of a really big crime and a really small crime. But they both count as crimes. Officers, please take him to the jail. Of course. Wait, no! Come on. No, you can't do this. Come on, Carol. We got another one. Ugh, what do you do? Stole the missing trophy. <gasps> what? That trophy was super rare. Why? I hope you're ashamed of yourself. Whatever. Okay, I'll open it up. Get inside. Ugh. Bye bye now. <clears throat> oh, hey. Hi. What are you in for? Stealing the missing trophy. Oh, hey. You're gonna be in here for a long time. Ugh, I know. We can play checkers. Ha ha ha. Tell me now. What? Ugh. As for you guys, you get to split the millions. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. Officers, take them to the millions, please. Of course. We just open the vault up. And this is all yours. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. All yours. But it's so much. Of course, guys. The end. <laughs>